shiners how y'all doing today welcome to one success mindset here on youtube i'm dr shine and i'm so grateful that you're here with me today you can be anywhere you want to be but you choose to be here at this particular time and i'm so grateful for that thank you for liking commenting sharing and subscribing to this podcast so let me get right on into the scenario oh my I want you to understand that through life's journeys, fear has no place in success. Fear has no mindset. There is no mindset to it. It's only the bare representation of facing your energy that appears to be real and rational to what it is you may have experienced over your life. Trauma, trauma bonds, situations that may not have been easy for you to face. And so because of that, you feel a essence of a vibration that surrounds you that makes you double second guess yourself. That's basically what it is doing. You're second guessing yourself. And when you second guess yourself, that's when all types of manner of energy that ex you know exceeds what it is that you're trying to do, it comes in and it takes over. You know, I was listening to a podcast video the other day, and I believe I have it here. And basically, it was about Taraji Henson talking about taking on the characters of a person that she plays in a, in a film and taking on the personification of that energy. So there are certain characters that she refuses to empower and inspire within her acting career because there are some forces in it. There are some forces that literally tells people how to behave in a negative way. You know, you think of, a, say, a scary thriller. In order to play that part, you have to have that energy. And that energy has to show through from something to make you to even connect to it. Vitamin C water. And um, it's just pure orange peel and H2O. It's a good idea, especially for this season, right? So... As Taraji was going through that, I was thinking to myself, that's the very way that we take ourselves out of the ability to be a success. When we choose to put other things in the way of other things, and the reality is we shouldn't. We shouldn't because if we keep going and don't give up, we've come too far, Shiners, to give up now. And I just can't give up and you can't give up because the minute that you do is the minute that this energy wins and there's a, there's a battle between good and other. And so in that battle, we have to make the decision, which one, what side are we on? Now, as a person who is a superstar, that is understood that they play the character and how do they clear their energy from that? What about the people who are playing characters in, in real life? They're being a character from a video game. Mentally challenging. That is where I would like to take this concept of Realizing the difference between when we allow, I was listening to someone talk about the analogy of a circus. When you see the clowns putting on the makeup, you know that that's not the person behind the makeup. When you see the clown on the rope, on stencils, riding a bike on the rope, there's a lot involved in that, a lot of practice, and everyone can't play that character. So when we realize that we've experienced something from our past, 
and it has put us in a space where we feel, oh, guilty about it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Or, you know, I was just talking to a friend the other night and we've known each other for many, many years. And during that time, you know, everybody needs someone for a specific purpose. And in that time and in that realm and space, Things were so different. And sometimes we can make choices that make sense at that point, but we should have thought about it. And so then at certain points, life, the universe, the most high will reveal things to us as an observ observational study of how far we've come. And a lot of times we can actually say to ourselves that, wow, what happens when we can't apologize to the deceased for doing something that we did decades ago? Are we supposed to carry that in guilt or are we supposed to recognize what it was, embrace it as having happened and exceed it, be a better person from it? but do not allow it to affect us. That's what I want you to pay attention to, Shiners. Not allowing that situation that happened 25 years ago to affect what is happening today. Give me one second. Yeah, we don't want it to affect it. We don't want it to affect what happened 25 years ago. Why? Because there's so much more involved in the growth of where we've been, how we maintained it, how we used it to our advantage and how we succeeded it. But a lot of people see the forces that we played the character with expects us to feel guilty about that. And God forbid if somebody passes away before we're able to tell them that we're sorry. Some things just need to be left in the past. Sometimes people don't need to always know everything that's going on, especially if it would hurt them, you or someone else. You know, not saying that we have to have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of secrets, but there are certain things that just don't need to be explained. You know, it just don't doesn't need to be explained because everybody's dealing with their internal perspectives. And even a person, a group of people or a, a marriage, they have separate entities. they are two different people. And in these two different people, guess what? Each one of them is on their own path, their own journey. They're experiencing things that they've never experienced before. The, you know, I was looking at a statistical study that was done. And it said that the majority of HIV and sexually transmitted diseases are among the senior population. Why? Because in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s, people were married long term. They had one um, partner, sexual partner, and nine times out of 10, they knew each other from high school. They knew each other from junior high or even earlier. So with that being said, it's amazing how when we go into the concepts of the elderly stage and these people go into the nursing homes and different things like that. They're at that point where they've never been shown so much attention. The next thing you know, Mr. John over here is talking to Miss Sally right here, who has been married for 45 years and her husband is deceased. And now here comes this man that's showing her this ultimate attention. Now, you don't know. Mr. John and Mr. Sally and Miss Sally is in the back doing whatever. With no type of protection, none of that. So sexually transmitted diseases among the senior population should be studied because that is something that is vitally important. And people who feel that when they have nothing else to lose, that's when they choose to live. But sometimes we need to do that with a with a tinge of morality. You know what I mean? 
Yes, we be being aware, being conscious, understanding our surroundings, understanding that some people don't like to see us succeed. Some people don't like certain things. It irks their demons. It stops them from being who they are because they just heard it in the, the little bit of seed that was planted. Pisses them the hell off. But some people are just here to piss some people off. To wake them up and make them mature. Because this world needs leaders. This world needs people who can genuinely help others. Because they have the intellect. Because they have the morality. Because they have the wherewithal to know that they're intelligent enough to just tell someone something. Just one time. You know, as I sit back and I look at people who give advice, I look at their history. I go back to where they come from because that experience is vital and they can give the advice because they've been there and done that. So I wanted to just put this out, Shiners, just to let you know you're being thought about. And in this time of meditation and in this time of reflection, you know, how to let go of those things that no longer serve your life, those things that no longer make it a, it doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense to hold on to it. Just let it go. Because once you recognize it, you embrace it, you say to your higher power, the forgiveness that you provide for yourself. And you find those in the steps of recovery. You find those when you start to have a moral compass with inside of you. And it holds the GPS system that makes you aware of certain things before it even gets to a certain level. So there are certain things that just no longer attracts you. You know, you can see the clown riding the unicycle on the rope at the circus. But sometimes you you must look at it, see it, and keep moving because the distraction is there, you know, and the distraction can hold your attention for a very long time, sometimes decades. But it's what you do with that information when you gain the experience and you can produce it and put it into a reflection of your own to make you stand out among others and say, I've been there and done that. And just for your information, this is how it happened to me. This is how it resulted in my life. So if I can save you from any type of pain, any type of karmic vibration that is not of your expectation, maybe you could open your heart and your mind and your soul to listen. And when you listen, you don't have to take everything just take what resonates with you and leave everything else. But if anything that I've said today has empowered and inspired you in any way to help you make a decision, the right next choice, please hit the like button. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being number one in your life because you're a responsible individual that's making this world a greater place. You know? God's protected is always respected, you know, so, so that's what I want you to know as well. Keep rocking in the shoes you're walking in because you're doing it. I see you. <laughs> you see yourself, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are because you are. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.